welcome to the hair I wear for wigs by pattiespearls.com. I am Lauren and today I am bringing you another gorgeous bell tress piece from their cafe collection. This is tea leaf layer. Now the first thing that stands out to me about this wig is the color. I mean, let's talk about this color real quick because it's just so obviously beautiful and dimensional that we just need to talk about it right away. Okay, so the color on this piece is called Mocha with Cream. So this is a rooted piece, so it has a very dark brown root, and then the overall color is just a very warm brown um, with lots of honey and caramel and really kind of lighter blonde highlights. Now something that stuck out to me about this piece, um, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but if you look right there at the rooting, some of the blonde, I mean there's a lot of warm blonde in it. It's definitely more of like the caramelly um, honey blonde, but there are pieces in it that are so light, they almost look white to me. So I'm like, are they trying to resemble some gray in there? <laughs> I don't know if this is, if it's this piece specifically or the other mocha with cream colors have a few of those really like almost bleach blonde pieces in it, but it's definitely something worth noting that it has such um, a light color strand running through it. But overall, this is so dimensional and beautiful. It just looks like you stepped out of the salon and had a rock and color job done. Um, and you can see more when I put it on how the color is distributed around the face and the back. Okay, let's talk about this cap construction. This is a mono top, so you get the option of parting anywhere you need to. It has a beautiful lace front, um, adjustable ear tabs, and then there is an adjustable strap down here at the nape um, to give you a nice snug fit. Now this does not have wefting, but it is super stretchy and it just feels really soft and really good on the inside. So I feel like the cap construction is very well done. Now this does have a shorter bang. Again, you'll see when I put it on, but the shortest piece is gonna be about six inches um, across your forehead. And then the longest point down here is about 21 and a half inches. Um, the sides, the layers are about 12 inches long and from the nape down, it's about 14 inches. Okay, oh, it's also worth noting that this is a heat-friendly wig, so you can use your um, your styling tools on it to give it some movement or to calm down any frizz that might happen. Heat-friendly fibers tend to tangle and frizz a little easier than a synthetic, um, so all you're gonna need to do is just put your heat tools on a low setting and just kind of knock out any frizz that may happen. All right, I'm gonna go get tea leaf layer on and show you what she looks like. As always, be screenshot ready because because here are the details on tea leaf layer. Okay, here she is. This is tea leaf layer in the color mocha with cream. Now I love this look, love it. Um, the layers on this piece, I feel like for me, suit my face and my features better than some of the other bell truss pieces I reviewed. Some of the other pieces, the layers um, were a little bulkier around the face, which is very flattering on a lot of women. But for me, um, this style with the long layer is just, I feel like a more flattering cut. And so this uh, right here is about the shortest layer that's gonna hit your face. And it's definitely way below the chin. And then the length, you can see it's coming all the way down here. So it's definitely a long layered look. Now it does have a bang, but I feel like the bang is very well done. It's not heavy, it's just a few strands. Um, a lot of times bangs you know, will fall down in your face and you kind of have to train the knots to go over or get a little swoop going on. But I feel like this just naturally um, goes over to the side and it gives you a little bit of a layer look up here but not so heavy that I feel like it's constantly going to be falling 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 into your face so I really like the way this is cut and the way it lays just right out of the box all I did was um, adjust the part line and and that's it um, this I would not do any kind of de-shining out of the box I don't think it's overly shiny I think it looks like healthy hair um, the feel of it, it's incredibly silky and soft. It has a beautiful texture to it. I love the way it feels. 
Um, I just, I don't know, I really like the, the cut and the feel of this wig. Okay, so the coloring. You can see the, um, the blonde highlights in this. There's a heavier strand around the face. And it looked like, if you see down here, it looks like there's a heavier highlight underneath and it almost looks like it's tipped um, in a lighter color. You can see that. So there's some really, really great dimension. Now I'm gonna show you the root here and see if I can show you what I was talking about with the really light blonde running through it. Sometimes my camera wants to adjust the color and it won't get a good close up. And it almost resembles a gray um, strand kind of running through there. I mean, it's not heavy. It doesn't look like I need to get my roots done, but I think it is worth noting that some of the blonde pieces are so light, they look like gray hairs. Okay, let's talk about this lace front. Uh, Bell Trust does a really great job with their lace. It's very thin. That's hitting my widow's peak. It's very thin. It doesn't come down very far. Um, I feel like the knotting in the front, again, is really heavy, and some of the pieces are knotted a little bit further down than others. So the part line, or the hairline isn't super straight. And here in the part, again, the knotting is very heavy. So if I were to customize this for me, I might go in and pluck a few of those uh, just to get a more natural part line. And then I would go in with some concealer and try to lighten that up a little bit. Because you can tell from far back, I have no defined part line. And for me, I really like the look of a defined part line because that gives it such a natural look. And with this rooting, your color is gonna look really natural, so I feel like the part line needs to match. So that's probably what I would do as far as customization goes. Um, I might even um, put a little bit of heat right at the roots here just to kind of swoop this bang back a little bit, just so it's not so flat to my head. But that's really the only thing I would do to it. So right out of the box, I feel like she's good to go. Like this is just a really pretty cut and a beautiful color. Okay, so as far as styling goes, this is meant to just be straight and sleek. It is heat friendly. So you probably could go in on these ends and um, maybe just give them a little wave, but I don't think you're gonna get a super um, curly look with this piece. Again, you can go in with your fingers and kind of loosen things up and play around with it, but I don't think this is gonna be a big voluminous piece. It's just meant to be worn um, beautifully straight and sleek, which I, I love. I love the look of this. Okay, so let's talk about the ear tuck. <clears throat> now, I feel like the ear tabs on this one come down a little further than the other ones I have reviewed, so you would definitely want to leave some strands of hair out before you do that ear tuck, or else you're gonna get kind of a harsh line um, where your ear tabs are. Again, those bangs are short enough that they are not gonna go back behind your ears. They for sure will fall forward. But you can definitely get an ear tuck with this wig and get a super cute look like that. Um, of course, I love a side ponytail, so uh, all the layers are long enough that you could get it all over um, and pull it back, either on the, the side there or in the back. And as always, leave some strands down over your ears so you don't get a harsh line from the ear tuck. You could also, if those bangs are driving you crazy, you could just twist them back like this and do a little clip on the side. If I can get a hold of my clip over here. And, oh my stars, I just dropped my clip. But there you go, you get the idea. You can clip it back and get those bangs back if you wanna do that kind of style. So. There's some versatility to this piece, and again, it is heat friendly, and um, those heat friendly fibers tend to tangle a little easier than synthetics, especially um, behind the behind your head around the nape of your neck. So definitely want to keep this brushed out. Um, just use a wide tooth comb and carefully go through any tangles starting at the ends um, every time you wear it. And then um, that's really all you're gonna need to do to it and just follow the care instructions um, that Bell Trust recommends. Okay, let me give you a 360 degree look at tea leaf layer. Well, I'm going to if I can get my chair adjusted. Okay, here we go. Here is the side. There's a back look. And I'm running into my, my background here. Side. 
there she is. All right, okay. I think y'all can see it in my face. I just love this look. I kind of want this wig to keep for my very own. And if you need tea leaf layer in your life, head on over to wigs by pattyspearls.com. The brand is Beltress. This style is tea leaf layer. And this color that I'm showing you today is mocha with cream. All right, thanks for watching y'all. Be sure to come back soon for another great review on the hair I wear for wigs by pattyspearls.com. Bye.